Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. I just spent a whole lot of money. Let's get started and talk about it. I am going to start off by saying this. Best money I ever spent and I do not regret or have buyer's remorse at all. I'm going to get right into it. It's the shoe saga story. Many of you have already heard. I will make this explanation very brief before I do a little show and tell. Okay, first of all, you guys know on this channel I've been all different sizes. When I gain and lose weight, it affects my feet. I had a pair of athletic shoes that I was wearing for a couple years. I went walking in them with my friend. You know what? They finally gave out after a couple years. They were comfortable, but I kept wearing them after they gave out and did injury to my left ankle, which was not wise. And then I went to Ross and bought some shoes that were not a proper fit. And because of me gaining weight, I tried to wear some of my old shoes that I had stored because I always like to have a backup pair, but they weren't properly fitting me because of the weight gain. That being said, I knew I had to get a proper fit. So I've got a whole bunch of shoes here that I'm going to be donating to my friend and she can hopefully use them because her feet are a little bit smaller and things than mine because I'm going to tell you also what size I wear now and what sizes I've worn in the past. First of all, my feet are two different sizes, so I actually need to go to a special shoe store, plus I have a high instep. I just can't go to a regular store and buy a pair of shoes, and not everybody can. Most people probably can just run and go to Walmart and get a pair of shoes, and it's no problem. Me, even when I'm smaller, I'm not really able to do that. So that being said, I've got a whole bunch of shoes like these. They are not comfortable and the shoelaces keep coming untied and they pinch right here. So I'm giving, I've got like about seven pair of shoes. These Skechers, oops, are not comfortable. These sandals are not comfortable. These were like cloud walkers and my feet slip around in them. And so I'm basically just giving all these shoes. Some of these are gently worn. Never wear these dress shoes. And so I'm giving them away rather than them taking up space in my closet. And they're gonna go to a home, get worn and get loved. That's all that matters, okay. So that being said, that's one of the things I'm gonna do. So I decided to go to San Antonio Shoes. I've had really good luck there before. Non-sponsored video, I'm not telling any of you guys where to shop. I will tell you, I went there today. I went to the one, you guys know I live in the DFW area. I went to the one near Firewheel Mall in Garland, Texas. If any of you live in the area, phenomenal customer service. Those people are great. They greeted me with open arms and asked how I was right away. They fit me with shoes, but this is the thing. And I like the late, one of the ladies told me, she says, we never give advice on what shoe you should buy. You were the one wearing it, so you need to make that decision, you know, because, you know, we don't know how you are feeling in the shoe. But when I put them on, they watched me walk to kind of look to see if they felt like it was a proper fit, which was really good. And then they tried different sizes, which really helped. And so I really like that. Now, one thing I wanna tell you, because I don't wanna forget, if any of you go to San Antonio Shoes, which some of you do, I said, can you return shoes? This is what they told me, and I thought this was good. They said that if you wear them outside, you can't, but one advice that she gave me was if you buy a pair of shoes, and this could probably be from anywhere, don't wear them outside and walk all around and think you're gonna be able to return them because you know they're gonna have pavement on them and things like that or grass stains, anything like that, right? Wear them around in your house on the carpet and walk around in them. And if for some reason they're uncomfortable, then you could bring them back. So that's one of the things that they did tell me about these shoes. Also, on your birthday, they do give you money off. Now, these shoes, I will admit, are costly. And I'm going to tell you what I paid for both of these pair when I'm finished here with tax and everything. And I'll also show you the shoe. They did size me. They sized me because my feet are a little bit swollen because of the inflammation on the ankle and because of my weight gain. When I weigh 170 pounds, I wear a medium width. I do not have a large medium but right now my width is a double wide okay they don't sell double wide in the stores so that being said they gave me a 10 double wide well what I was doing is I was going out to Ross and buying a size 11 which were too long for me 
but they were not wide enough. And so that's why the shoes weren't fitting me properly. The one thing I do have to say I like about San Antonio shoes is, is instantly when you put them on, they feel like heaven on your feet. You don't have to break them in like you do other shoes. They are instant comfort. They do not hurt at all. And you can start walking around on them right away. You don't have to break them in and get used to it. So I bought two pair of shoes. I know, by the way, this is going over five minutes, but I really felt like this was an important video. Um, first of all, and I'll show you one of them, uh, they give you one of these to help you get your shoe on, which I thought was really nice. I love the shoe boxes. I'm going to save those to put gifts in. So this is for work, and it's a black shoe. And I think it's called Me Too. I'm not really sure, but I like it. I like it with the Velcro because I won't have to worry, you know, about shoes coming untied. Like I said, they're not the fanciest, but they are so comfortable. And then I have a pair, and I'm going to lift my foot up. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's a pair of white shoes. And you know what I might do is just take it off and show it to you. I think it'll be easier than me falling over and breaking my neck as I'm trying to show you. Okay, this is what the shoe looks like. Nothing fancy, okay? Nothing fancy, but it is so comfortable. Let me just tell you. So, for both pair of shoes with tax and everything, I know some of you are going to fall over $361.58. You know what? Do I regret buying them? No, I regret gaining the weight, but even some of the shoes I had that I purchased before, some of them weren't SAS shoes, were not that comfortable. So honestly, if I were to buy shoes once every two years, I will be really pleased with that and just go to where I know they're going to fit me properly. I know they're going to be comfortable. That's what I'm going to do from now on because I wasted a lot of time and money on stuff that wasn't a proper fit. Plus, I injured myself and went through unnecessary pain. So, my advice to anyone, if you want to take it, but remember, I'm not a, an expert, is well, whoever you are, even if it costs more, budget for a decent pair of shoes. If you can wear shoes from different discount places and they're good for your feet, go for it. But if you have a situation where maybe you have an extra narrow or one shoe size is different than the other, or you have a high instep or a high arch, something like that, you may want to look into a place like this. I will say, if any of you do decide to go to SAS Shoes, if it's in your budget and you feel like it's a good fit for you, they do have excellent customer service. They spend a lot of individual time with you to make sure you get a proper fit and that your shoe is comfortable. And if you take proper care of it, it'll last. they last you a couple years. So that's all I want to say, guys. Let me know if any of you really invest in a good pair of shoes and where you like to go. So that's all I have to say for now. I appreciate you listening. I love you, and I'll see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.